Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak the newest 3.1.2 firmware in a different way using Red Snow 0.9. Now, this is much more comprehensive than Black Rain, and, and so this might be better for uh, those of you who are advanced and like to customize your iPod even further, or if you just like a quick and easy jailbreak, I'll put my link to the Black Rain jailbreak right over there in the description. But this is a really great jailbreak, guys, and I'm happy to share it with you. Uh, now, the first uh, concern that I need to deal with is a tethered issue. Now, tethered basically means that after you jailbreak, you will need to connect your iPod to your computer every time you want to switch it on after it's been powered off completely. Now, the tethered situation only applies to the iPod Touch 3rd generation, which is any iPod Touch bought after October 14th. So that would apply to this one. Um, iPod Touch 3rd generation, and it also applies to any iPhone 3GS bought after October 14th. So I'll repeat that, the iPhone 3G, any iPhone 3GS that's been bought October 14th and after, and the newest iPod Touch 3rd generation, which is any iPod Touch bought after October 14th. Both of those devices are tethered, meaning that you need to connect it to your computer uh, if, when you want to switch it on when it's uh, been powered off completely. Otherwise, for the iPod Touch 1st generation, the iPod Touch 2nd generation, and the iPhone 1st generation, and the iPhone 3G, this is completely full untethered, meaning that you're completely free, no need to connect to your computer, it's uh, completely working, alright? Second thing is, a very frequently asked question I get uh, through personal messages and emails is, uh, when you jailbreak, you lose all of your music and applications. The answer to the question is no. Using this method, you do not use you do not lose anything. You only gain Cydia, the uh, third-party installer, which lets you run third-party applications and themes. All right. So now that we've got that out of the way, uh, this will work only for the newest 3.1.2 firmware. So as you can see there, I have the newest 3.1.2 firmware. Uh, so once you have uh, the 3.1.2 firmware, I recommend doing a fresh restore uh, in iTunes. That way uh, your jailbreak will work uh, as perfectly as you can. So that means just going into iTunes and restoring. This process does wipe out your music and applications, but you can always sync it back. That's merely a suggestion, not a requirement. So after that, you just want to close out of iTunes. Make sure iTunes is closed. And there are two things you are required to have. Number one is Red Snow, the name of the program used to jailbreak. I'll put a link to that, a mirror actually, in the description right over there. You must click on that and you'll be uh, directed to a download. Just save it and it's a zip file. The second thing is your firmware file uh, corresponding to your device. I'll put a link in the description for uh, a great firmware site where you can download the firmware for your uh, uh, device. Make sure you go to the second drop down box, iPhone slash iPod Touch and choose the one for your firmware and device and download that to your desktop that might take a little while now uh... this jailbreak also includes custom boot logo changes meaning that you can uh... change the screen when your ipod is switching on or your iphone is switching on instead of the standard apple you can use any image that you want so if you would like to do that then you must download a file or a picture that you want um, i have a website in the description uh, right over there uh, where you can download uh, images perfectly sized and they must be in PNG format, alright? So once you've gotten those two or three things, depending on what you want, you want to double click into the red snow. You will need to have WinRAR installed. And you want to drag and drop this folder here with red snow onto your desktop. So you will need WinRAR to do this. I'll put that, or you can just go download that. And then we can close out of the zip archive. Now all I want to do is double click into this folder, red snow. And we want to double click on redsnow.exe. At this point, we want to make sure that our iPod is iPod or iPhone is connected via USB to our computer, and make sure again that iTunes and all instances of iTunes is disabled right now. So now it's just going to ask us to browse for our current iPhone firmware. All we want to do is click browse, and like I said before, you need to download that. I downloaded mine to the desktop, so we just scroll down there and we double click on that. And now it's just processing the firmware file. And when it says IPSW successfully identified, we want to click Next. And it'll just do some stuff with it, preparing the data it needs. And now is where we can use our options. So we can choose what options we would like. 
Any custom logo should be in PNG files in RGB uh, or grayscale format with an alpha channel and no larger than 320 by 480. Size of compressed images is located to 1000 kilobytes. Like I said, go download an image from the link in the description and uh, make sure that it's in PNG format. And it automatically checks off install Cydia, which is what we want, definitely. Then there is verbose boot, which means when you switch it on, uh, it'll run a bunch of random, not random, but it'll run the letters and digits it's running uh, to switch it on. I don't recommend that. It's not really that great. Uh, then there is custom boot logo. I'm going to go for custom boot logo. So now I just want to click on custom boot logo. And we want to scroll for that image that we saved. That mine's right here, zip.png. And we just double click on right here. Now, if you get a message that says that uh, it's too big or something like that, that means that the picture that you chose uh, is not compatible. You will need to get another picture. Sorry about that. But it's just too intense to be a boot logo. So you need to go back to that website that I have in the description and get a different picture. Then you can choose between a custom recovery logo. That's if uh, when you're in recovery mode, if you want it to have a different picture. Hopefully, you don't want to be in recovery mode at any time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip that. And already pwned is if you're already jailbroken, just click on that. Right now I'm clean, I'm not jailbroken at all. So I have these two options, Cydia and Custom Boot Logo. Now we can click Next. And now it's going to say, make sure your device is both off and plugged on the computer. So you want to make sure your device is off first. So right now, uh, I mean, you want to make sure your device is uh, connected to your computer first. So we're connected. And now you just want to power it off completely by holding down the power button for four seconds. And now we want to click slide to power off. And when it's completely powered off, so there's no scrolling logos, and you hear uh, your computer make that sound if you have Windows, then uh, we're going to uh, click next. Now when next appears, we're going to need to follow a set of instructions. So I'm going to put the camera down right now, and you're going to follow along with me, alright? So we're going to start off. As soon as we click next, we're going to start holding down the power button. Now after 3 seconds, we're going to hold down the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds. So we have about 5 seconds left. 3, 2, 1. Now as soon as those 10 seconds are up, we're going to hold down the home button. We're going to release the power button and keep holding the home button down until Red Snow tells us we don't need to anymore. It'll be a maximum of 30 seconds. Alright, and when Red Snow gives us this message here where it says waiting for reboot, uh, and it gives us this screen, we can let go of the button, and now it's jailbreaking. So as you can see, our device here is now downloading jailbreak data. So it's downloading the data it needs from the computer, so that it can jailbreak itself. Alright, and here we see the walking pineapple, and now it's jailbreaking. Actually jailbreaking. Before it was just getting the data it needed to jailbreak, and now we're just jailbreaking. Alright, and now the process is done, and we're loading up. And as you can see, we have my custom boot logo here. Not the standard Apple, looks similar, but it's actually like a line going through, so it is different. And if you can see, it's a little bit more of a bluish tint, and it is glowing. And yep, now we're booting up, and when our iPod boots up, we should have Cydia installed. And then we can start downloading themes and all the great applications we can get from a jailbroken device. So just slide to unlock here, and as you can see we have Cydia. So we click on it. The first time we open it, it'll give us reorganizing. I need to actually set up my Wi-Fi and everything because I just uh, restored it before I jailbroke. So just reorganizing some stuff. And yeah, guys, so that's Cydia. That's a jailbreak for the newest 3.1.2 using Red Snow 0.9 with custom boot logos. Great stuff, guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to rate this video five stars down there. Click five stars there. Uh, comment below on how you like this video and how awesome this jailbreak is. Uh, uh, make sure to subscribe. That's the greatest thing of all, guys. Make sure to go subscribe there for all my newest videos and uh, great tips and uh, themes and applications. And hopefully the Snowbreeze Onage Tool port uh, will be out uh, tonight at 8 p.m. So if I'm lucky, I'll make that video too today. I'm not sure, but uh, one jailbreak a day is good. Alright, so I will see you guys later.